little guy. Um, there he is, just hiding, hanging out under his favourite rock for the last time. Um, so I moved this box next to where I'm going to release him. So I very gently remove his favourite rock and pop it in his new house. And then gently pick him up and just take this chance to give him one last look and say goodbye. Uh, it's definitely been an interesting few days with this little guy. Um, hopefully he doesn't find it too traumatic. Um, but yeah, let's let's pop him down into his new house. So I kind of popped him in the middle so he can choose whether he goes um, into a pond or under a rock or underneath some of these little houses that I've made him. Um, and I've given him plenty of sort of chances to get out of the planter if he wants. Um, he can disappear into this hedge or he can sort of go back into his box, but I doubt that's the option he'll choose. Um, so yeah, I just kind of watched him. Um, I didn't want to leave him just in case a bird got him and eventually he did move very slowly, taking, I guess, strategic power naps throughout his little journey. It looks like he's heading to the little shelter that I made him, um, or her. I keep saying him. I'm pretty sure it's a her now, but I'm so used to saying him. And another strategic power nap. He did seem to just sort of stay there, so I thought maybe I had to rearrange the shelter a bit so he could go into it from this side. Uh, let's give him another chance. No, 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 he's stuck. Um, so... Yeah, he was stuck for a while, not doing much, um, so I just sort of re-engineered this house, put a rock under it to lift the roof up a bit, and he crawled in pretty much straight away. Um, so, yeah, we'll just say goodbye to our little Newt. Um, I sort of named him Newton. Um, so, yeah, goodbye and good luck.